Good afternoon, friends. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, I have shared my screen. Is it visible to you? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, fine. So, in previous class, we have started with Thevenin's theorem, and we have tackled uh, one problem also. About Thevenin's theorem. In Thevenin's theorem, also there are two types of problems. One type of problem when dependent source is not present, and another type of problem is when dependent sources are present. So we have to tackle both the types of problems differently. So let us see one by one. And close my video and start. So this is the numerical. 3.27. Find the current through two ohm resistor in this figure. So this is the load resistance through which you want to find the current. So what is first step of Thevenin's theorem? Remove the load resistance first. So I have removed the load resistance and I have marked the terminals as A and B. So A as positive, B as negative. So this is these are the two terminals where. I am measuring the Thevenin's voltage and I am finding out the Thevenin's resistance. Okay, so after removing this uh, load resistance, first either you find uh, VTH or RTH, no problem. So let us start with calculation of VTH. So VTH will find out first. So simply one loop is there or one mesh is there. So you can apply KVL to this mesh so that this plus 40, then minus 5 I, I minus 20 and minus 10 I equal to 0. So this I want to find. So from this KVL, I will get this sum all the terms of I together, I will get 15 I and constants on other other side, so that is equal to 20, so I will become 1.33 ampere. So why I have found out I? Because I want to find VTH. What is Thevenin voltage? You have to move from A to B. So I will move by this path from A to B. So A to B means this voltage drop across 10 ohm and this 10 volt. So 10 volt I know, this voltage source is there. I want drop across this 10 ohm resistance. That's why I want to find I current. So I have found out by applying KVL to this mesh. I got this value of current as 1.33. I is 1.33. So what will be drop across this resistance? Drop across will be this I into 10 ohm. So that is 1.33 into 10 ohm. That will be 13.3 volt is the voltage with this polarity, this plus and this is minus. Now I want to measure this A to B. So you can apply KVL for this loop. So it will be VTH minus 10, uh, sorry, 13.3 minus 10 or VTH equal to this 13.3 and 10. You have to sum them. So that is equal to this 23.33. So I have got this VTH value as 23.33 volt. Now second step is I want to find RTH. So if I want to find RTH, what I should do? I should remove all the voltage sources and current sources. Voltage sources I will make short circuit across this voltage source and if current sources are there, I have to open them and 
looking through this to ohm register which i have already removed so this i'll remove this voltage source i'll remove and this i'll remove so the resultant figure will be like this it is a uh, this a to b if you will see you will find that this 5 ohm and 10 ohm they are in parallel because if current is flowing from this a terminal it is divided in at this particular point that means this 5 ohm and 10 ohm they are in parallel to each other and then again it will be coming here so 5 into 10 divided by 5 plus 10 so that will be rth or thevenin resistance and that is coming as 3.33 then i have third step is i have drawn thevenin's equivalent network vth rth in series and this is load resistance rl and i want to find uh, i have substituted value of vth as 23.33 rth as 33 3.33 and rl which is 2 ohm because here i have removed that particular resistance between a and b it was 2 ohm resistor so it is again i have connected it across a and b now this is a simple loop so you can find out this il by vth divided by rth plus rl so il is equal to this 23.33 divided by 3.33 plus 2 so it is coming out as 4.38 understood so i hope it is very simple problem the next example number 3.31 from our ravi singh's book use thevenin's theorem to find what is asked to find find current through 10 ohm resistor okay so i want to find current through 10 ohm resistor so this is the circuit diagram one uh, current source is there of 10 ampere then one uh, voltage source of 100 volt and resistances are there and i want to find current through this 10 ohm resistor so what is first step of uh, thevenin's theorem i have to remove this load resistance first and i have to make it open circuit so here i'll make it open circuit and i'll find out open circuit voltage at these two terminals that is the vth and i'll looking through this terminal i'll find rth so first calculation of vth so i want to find vth between these two terminals which i have made open load resistance now what will be vth you have to move from terminal a to b so this will be vth that means drop across this and drop across this i need to find so if i want to find drop across 5 ohm and 20 ohm resistance i must know what is the value of i1 and i2 so for i1 and i2 you can apply mesh analysis directly so here directly a 10 ampere current source is given so i1 is equal to 10 ampere if you will apply kvl for this Move or it is from this current equation of this mesh. You can directly say I one is equal to 10 ampere. So this is one value I got, and another value I want to find of I two. So for I two, this 100 minus 30 into I two minus 20 into I two because in this loop there is no current flowing because this is a open circuit that's why in 20 ohm resistance also only i2 is flowing okay so i have written this applying kvl to mesh 2 i have got this equation 100 minus 30 i2 minus 20 i2 equal to 0 from this i can get value of i2 as 2 ampere now i know value of i1 and i2 so i'll write kvl for this loop so uh, for vth if you will apply kvl for this loop it will be vth minus 5i1 and plus 20 20 i2 okay so this will be the equation so 5i1 minus vth minus 20 i2 equal to 0 so from this you substitute the values of i1 and i2 you will get vth value as 10 volt 
I1 and I2 you have calculated already. So VTH value we have got it as 10 volt. Now second task is step two is to find RTH. For finding RTH, I have to remove the sources. If current source is there, I'll make it open circuit. And if voltage source is there, I'll make it short circuit. So if I'll short this, then you will find that this, this is open circuit. So there is no uh, network after this 5 ohm resistor. Okay. So from A to B, I'll move from A. So this 5 ohm is in series. And here current is getting divided. So it is in parallel with 30 and 20 ohm resistor. And coming back. So 30 ohm parallel with 20 ohm and in series with 5 ohm will be RTH. Okay. So I have redrawn the circuit here. Only 5 ohm and these two resistances are in parallel. So 30 parallel 20 in series with 5 will be my RTH. So RTH equal to 5 plus 20 into 30 divided by 20 plus 30. So it is coming out as 17 ohm. Now I got VTH and RTH. So I will draw equivalent circuit in step 3. So draw equivalent circuit, Thevenin's equivalent. Here it will be VTH supply. Here it will be RTH in series with that. And here is the load resistance. Load resistance is of 10 ohm between A and B terminal. VTH I have found it as 10 volt. And RTH I have found it as 17 ohm. So I have placed this at their respective positions. And I want to find this IL now. IL will be simply VTH upon RTH plus RL. So 10 volt divided by 17 plus 10. So it is coming out as 0 0.37 ampere. Okay, so this was also a very easy problem. Now use Thevenin's theorem to find current through 24 ohm resistor. So this is a bridge circuit. Bridge circuit is given and this 24 ohms resistor is there instead of a galvanometer. If it is a bridge, then uh, this 24 ohm resistor current you want to find through this resistance. So go by steps of Thevenin's theorem. First remove this. So I will make this 24, I will remove this 24 ohms resistor. I will mark this terminals as A and B. And this open circuit voltage I will find out. So that will be VTH. And looking through these terminals, I will find out the RTH. Okay. So first I want to find VTH. So for VTH I have removed this resistance, load resistance and looking from uh, A terminal to B terminal, I will move from A to B. Either you can move by this path or you can move by this path. So what will be potential at A, B means VTH will be from A, I will move. So drop across 30 ohm resistor and drop across 20 ohm resistor will be coming for VTH or you can move on another path also. From this A, you can move from this. So it will be drop across 50 ohm resistor, drop across 5 ohm resistor and back to this. So either you have to club these two drops, algebraic summation or algebraic summation of these two drops. That will be VTH. Now, anyway, if you want to find drops across any of these resistances, you should know currents through flowing through these particular resistors. So I'll find it out by this way. This is 220 volt supply. One current is flowing by this path. Let us say it is I1. And another current is flowing in the circuit by this path. Let us say it is I2. So one current is flowing from 30 ohm and 50 ohm path. And another current is flowing from 20 ohm and 5 ohm path. Okay. So I can find value of I1 and I2 easily by Ohm's law. V by R is I. So 220 divided by 30 plus 50 will be value of I1. So I1 is equal to 220 upon 30 plus 50. It is coming as 2.75. And value of I2 will be 220 divided by 20 plus 5. 
So I2, you can get it as 8.8 ampere. Now I got both the values of I1 and I2. Now for VTH, I can take drop because current of uh, current direction is this. So plus terminal uh, plus of drop will be at this particular point and positive of drop will be at this particular point because current is entering in this resistor by this path. Okay. So uh, now you can apply KVL for this loop to find the VTH. So that is VTH plus 30 I1 minus 20 I2, uh, I2 will be equal to 0. So VTH plus 30 I1 minus 20 I2 equal to 0. This is the VTH equation that is applying after applying KVL to this particular loop. Now substitute values of I1 and I2, you have already calculated those. So VTH will be 20 I2 minus 30 I1, this coming as 93.5 volt. So that is your Thevenin's voltage. Now after calculating Thevenin's voltage, what you want to find? The Thevenin's resistance. So looking through these two terminals, you want to find the resistance. But you have to turn off all the sources. So only one source is there, voltage source. I will make it short. So this is a short circuit. So this point is shorted to this point. I'll redraw the circuit. I'll make this point is shorted to this point. That means this 30 ohm and 50 ohm, they are in parallel. And 20 ohm and 5 ohm are in parallel. And both are in series. Okay. You can, uh, this is the diagram after removing this uh, supply. I'll redraw it again. Just this outer path, I have moved it inside so that now you can easily find this A and B. A terminal I have taken out, B terminal I have taken out and this path I have taken it in the middle of this. So that now you can find these two resistances are in parallel, these two are in parallel and this combination is in series. So RTH equal to 30 parallel 50 in series with 20 parallel point. That means 30 into 50 divided by 30 plus 50 plus 20 into 5 divided by 20 plus 5. So it comes out to be 22.75. Now I got VTH and RTH. Now third step is simple. Draw Thevenin's equivalent. So this is Thevenin's equivalent circuit. VTH 93.5 volt. RTH I have substituted as 22.75 and load resistance I have connected which I have removed initially which was present here. So it was of 24 ohm that I have connected it again and then simply by applying KVL or you can say uh, simply by uh, Ohm's law you can find this voltage divided by some of these resistances will be this current. So IL is equal to 93.5, that is VTH, upon RTH plus RL. So I am getting it as 2 ampere. Okay. So if independent source is not present, then it is very easy to solve the problem of this Thevenin's theorem. Uh, sorry, if dependent sources are not present. Okay. Now if dependent source is present, then what you have to do for that dependent source? How to tackle such problem is our next problem. So a dependent source is there. This diamond block is there means it is a dependent source and it is a current source. So and it is depending on current itself. So it is current dependent current source. Current dependent current source and one voltage source is there uh, which is independent and resistances are there. So using Thevenin's theorem, find VTH and RTH. So we need to find only VTH and RTH, that is step 1 and step 2, that's all. Step 3, the Thevenin's equivalent network, uh, you need not have to draw and you need not have to find IL. Okay, so 
in such type of problem what you have to do is first vth finding it is same so for finding vth again since uh, this ix is there now uh, dependent source is there so it is depending on the value of ix so you need to find first value of ix now as this ab we have open it is a open circuit this ix which is flowing through this it is zero because ix as it is open circuit through open circuit no current can flow so ix value will be zero so if ix value is zero this current source is depending on twice of ix its magnitude is two times ix this current source as ix is zero this two ix means this current value current source value will become zero so ix is zero i got now i want to find thevenin's voltage so for finding thevenin's voltage this is open circuit so there won't be any contribution of voltage of this two ohm resistor so there will be only contribution of one ohm resistor so whatever voltage drop across one ohm resistance is there that is vtx so we want to find drop across this one ohm resistance so finding drop across this one ohm resistance i need current flowing through this one ohm resistance that you can easily find this 12 volt divided by 1 plus 1 2 so from ohms law you can find current flowing through this particular resistance or this loop will be 12 volt divided by 2 ohm so that is 6 uh, ampere okay so this current flowing through this 1 ohm resistor is 6 ampere now drop across this 1 ohm resistor will be this 6 ampere into 1 ohm so that will become 6 volt so my thevenin voltage will become 6 volt so I've got this thevenin voltage as 6 volt now till this it is okay but for finding rth if dependent sources are there then you cannot find the rth simply by removing the sources so for that purpose you need to short circuit this ab terminal and find out short circuit current through this you know vth you have found out now short circuit current right and make division of this so vth upon ith will be rth so for calculation of this uh, rth you will need short circuit current of ab terminal it is also referred as norton's current because that norton's theorem we are uh, that is in our syllabus so we'll be studying it in next class so that norton's current or short circuit current you can say isc or in you want to find so for finding this first i'll calculate what is the value of ix so ix is the current flowing through this and same ix is flowing as a in so that short circuit current is nothing but ix now what is the relation of ix so ix is equal to this ix is flowing from this to this so this v1 minus 0 if i'll take this v1 this is one node or junction so if i'll uh, take this junction voltage is v1 so v1 minus this zero zero is the reference junction voltage at reference junction and v1 is the voltage at non reference junction so from v1 minus zero divided by 2 ohm will be value of ix and same as in so ix value is coming out as v1 by 2 now applying kcl at node 1 at this particular node i'll assume all the currents are moving away from this but only this current is moving in the junction so i'll take it on another side then 
the this current is moving away this current is moving away this current is moving away so i'll take first current i1 as v1 minus 12 divided by 1 so that will be first current flowing in this branch then second current flowing in this branch let us say it is v1 divided by v1 minus 0 by 1 so that is v1 by 1 and plus this third current that is v1 minus 0 divided by 2 that is nothing but your ix or in okay so plus v1 by 2 is equal to 2 ix is equal to why i have taken it is equal to because this current is only current which is entering in this junction or you can say you can assume current direction here if it is going away then it will be minus 2 ix so minus 2 ix on this side so if you will take it on another side it will become plus 2 ix so after applying kcl we got this equation we know value of ix as v1 by 2 you substitute that value here and you will get the equation in terms of v1 only only one variable so you club all the terms of v1 together and constants on another side so you will get v1 as 8 volt so if v1 is 8 volt what will be the current flowing through this that is ix or in it is equal to v1 minus 0 divided by this 2 ohm so in will be v1 by 2 that is 8 divided by 2 equal to 4 ampere now i got short circuit current i know open circuit voltage between this a and b terminal so what will be the input resistance looking from this terminals that is rth rth will be vth upon in so 6 volt upon 4 ampere is equal to 1.5 ohms is the thevenin's resistance so you got the procedure for finding thevenin's resistance if dependent sources are present then you cannot find it by removing the sources you cannot make series parallel combinations of the resistances to find the resistance but if a dependent source is there you have to find short circuit current across the load terminals that is short circuit current or you can say it is norton's current so vth finding process is as it is but for finding rth you need to find in and by taking ratio of vth and in you can find rth okay so i hope you understood this so i'll move to next problem time is running out but we can finish off with these problems of thevenin's theorem so obtain the thevenin's equivalent network at terminals a and b so this a and b terminals are there now in previous example that dependent source was current source now in this example dependent source is a voltage source as in this diamond block polarities are given it is a voltage source and it is depending on the value of voltage so it is voltage dependent voltage source okay so since dependent source is there finding vth process is same but for finding rth you need to find in or short circuit current means once you will find here by keeping these terminals open you will find open circuit voltage across this ab terminal and by shorting these a and b terminals you will find the short circuit current through this and then take ratio of vth and in for short circuit current you will get the value of resistance okay so for calculation of vth uh, this i want to find vth so you can find it by applying kvl to this particular loop so for that purpose you need to find this vx so now you apply kcl at node x this is node x so if you will apply kcl at this particular node then this vx by 2 is equal to 2 that means 
this is the one current entering in this and this is the current another current as this is open circuit there won't be any current flowing in this branch so only two currents are flowing one is in this branch and another is in this branch as there is a current source in this branch you need not have to find current it is directly 2 ampere and it is entering this junction here you can assume that the current is leaving so vx minus 0 upon 2 will be this current and this current is 2 ampere so this 2 is equal to vx by 2 so 2 is equal to vx by 2 so vx value you can get directly as 4 volt so now you got this value of vx as 4 volt that means this voltage source you can say it is 5 times vx so you can know this value also now writing the thevenin's equation means from a terminal you move to b terminal and measure the voltage between a and b terminal so if you will move from a to b so what will be the equation vth equal to vx minus 5 vx so at this particular point the voltage is vx this is vx voltage and this is 5 vx voltage so the difference between these two voltages will be this ab or vth so vx minus 5 vx will be equal to minus 4 vx and vx value you know you have calculated it as 4 volt so vth will be minus 16 volt so thevenin's voltage is minus 16 volt what is the meaning of that minus minus is because this a terminal which we have taken it as assumed it as positive it is a negative with respect to b that is the only difference means it is 16 volt battery whose positive terminal is towards b and negative terminal is towards a that's why this minus sign is there so now vth we have got now short circuit this ab terminal and find out what is the short circuit current that is norton's current so after shorting this you have to find this so again apply kcl at this particular node x so it is 2 equal to vx by 2 vx by 2 and now current is flowing by this path because you have shorted this in previous case as this was open there was no current flowing through this branch now it is flowing so now if you will apply kcl at this there will be three currents one is flowing through this branch another flowing through this branch and another flowing through this branch now so 2 is equal to vx by 2 plus vx minus 5 vx divided by 4 so that will be current flowing through this so again you will get the value of vx if you will simplify this and it is coming out as minus 4 volt as vx value is minus 4 volt now the current flowing through this path what will be that that is vx minus 5 vx divided by 4x or 4 ohm that is the current flowing through this that is in norton current okay so substitute the value of vx as minus 4 So you will get this I N as 4 ampere. Now current flowing through this short circuit path is 4 ampere, and open circuit voltage across this is uh, we have calculated it as minus 16. So uh, what will be Thevenin's resistance? R T H will be equal to V T H upon I N. V T H either you take it as minus 16 or it will be from B to A it will be positive. so it is coming out as minus 4 ohm and you can draw thevenin's equivalent circuit so this is thevenin's equivalent network minus 16 volt then minus 4 ohm and these are ab or you can reverse the direction of this battery you can make positive terminal at the bottom negative terminal at the top and you write 16 volt and write here 4 ohm that is also not a problem so i hope you understood this uh, still i can complete this problem also time is running out but we'll complete this problem very fast
obtain the thevenin equivalent network again in this problem also a dependent voltage source is there voltage dependent voltage source a voltage source is present a current source is present so procedure is same find out first vth vth you can find out by taking the voltage from a to b so this voltage you can find so that is uh, again you apply uh, nor kcl at this particular nor you can assume this voltage as vx it is not assume you have it is given already across this 15 ohm resistor means this terminal e plus will be coming here it is vx is at this particular point so vx is the voltage here so vx is equal to vth because the same vth voltage is same as that of vx as this branch is open this resistance will not contribute anything for the thevenin voltage so thevenin voltage will be same as vx now for finding out vx we apply kcl at this particular node so if you will apply kcl at this particular node it will be vx minus 150 minus 1 by 3 vx divided by 10 okay so this is first term that is current flowing through this branch current flowing through this branch is vx by 15 so plus vx by 15 through this branch it will be directly 5 so plus 5 equal to 0 from this you can find out vx as 75 volt and vx is nothing but vth so vth you have got it as 75 volt now for finding rth short circuit this ab terminal and find out what is this norton current then take ratio of vth and in that will give you rth so again you apply kcl at this particular node x so it will be vx by 50 now uh, sorry this is 30 so vx minus 0 by 30 then 5 so vx by 30 plus 5 this current is vx by 15 and this current is vx minus 150 minus 1 by 3 vx divided by 10 so this is equal to 0 from this you will get if you will club all the values of uh, vx terms together and constant on another side you will find vx as 60 volt and your norton's uh, current that is equal to vx upon 30 norton's current is flowing through this band so vx minus 0 divided by 30 is this norton's current so vx by 30 that is 60 by 30 2 ampere now for rth vth upon in equal to rth so 75 by 2 37.5 uh, 